And the likelihood of a military strike around Syria has certainly put its neighbours on high alert. As RT's Paula Sleer reports, some worry it could be the catalyst for a large-scale regional war. Now, the big concern, of course, is how will Iran react? We have heard from Iran that if Damascus comes under fire, it will regard this as an attack on its 35th province. The thinking is that Iran could activate both Hezbollah and the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. It could get them to use their fighters to attack those countries who are supportive of a U.S.-led military strike inside Syria. At the same time, Iran could also close the Strait of Hormuz. Now, this would affect around 20 percent of the world's supply of petroleum. The head of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard has also said that if Damascus was to be attacked, this would see, and this is a direct quote, the immediate attack and the immediate destruction of Israel. This is, of course, something that the Israelis are taking seriously. The official word from the Israeli leadership is that they are not involved in anything inside Syria, but that they, of course, will respond and respond harshly if they come under attack. The Israeli army is calling up reservists at the same time. The Israeli army has deployed the Iron Dome anti-missile defense system and other interceptors over the north of the country. The public has been queuing up in the thousands at local post offices and other outlets to collect gas masks. At the same time, there have been emergency drills held at various schools and also the, there are many who are actually clearing out their bomb shelters now for fear of any kind of strike on Israel. The Jerusalem Post is a daily newspaper inside Israel and it is running with the headline keep calm but carry on at the moment the mood in the region is anything but keeping calm there is a growing sense that this conflict could result in an all-out regional war